Hey guys and welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. I am going to show you how we're going to operate our new Holland 155 spreader. Manure spreader. New Holland 155 manure spreader. 155? I don't know. It spreads the crap. <laughs> I know a couple politicians that uh, could put this to good use. <laughs> So we were trying to figure out how to engage the floor system. Um, we were able to turn the PTO and get the beaters in the back to move just fine, but we couldn't figure out how to get this system to engage. And I couldn't find any articles at the time online, so Eric started playing with it and uh, was able to get this thing to come down here. We'll go over that in a second. So this stuff started moving. We figured out um, that this will push on this and this whole thing will break apart and that'll keep uh, that from engaging. It basically turns it off. So when it's in neutral, this right here will be apart. While we were trying to figure out exactly why the uh, floor wasn't engaging, um, you can see I was checking the fluids here. Um, this one, the fluid was kind of like a honey colored like thick creamy honey colored it wasn't thick it was very runny like watery um, and this one's pure black so I'm sure both of those need to be swapped out but right now I just want to figure out why this isn't engaging I'm sure this thing right here is supposed to turn um, so this was turning and that was turning um, but nothing in here <laughs> was turning. So we were trying to figure out what was going on with that and Eric was playing with this right here, which this whole line connects down into that. You pull it and it engages it different ways. You've got neutral, you've got fast, you've got slow, and I have no idea what C is. So he was playing with it and the pulley that I had been riding on right back there it shattered. So now, not only can we not figure out how this thing works, now we have to stop and find, hopefully, a new pulley for this. And this, this was a pain in the butt. This is under tension. So it hooks into right here. And you can see it's got two adjusting um, nuts right there. So he's been backing it this way. I'm gonna have to find a manual somehow so that I can break down exactly <laughs> exactly what is going on here and why this is not working because I I don't know I don't know and again in case you guys didn't catch it on the last video the guy that sold this to us is in Florida he could not pull it out of his barn he could not show us how it worked as far as I know from what he said it worked last year when he used it but I don't know okay after much trial and error unsuccessful looking for manuals on the New Holland website, which I did kind of get. Um, so here's a rundown on how the New Holland 155 or 145 manure spreader works. Uh, let's start at the front. So we have C, which I figured out means clean out mode. We have fast, we have slow, and we have neutral. Um, so this this engages everything and this will engage just the floor apron it's called an apron so this is what we're having issues with here's Eric's brand new pulley um, he made that out of a wheel caster he cut it in half and then he bevels an edge in the center um, so that's a good temporary hold this doesn't really do anything other than trigger the mechanisms down there so it's not a big deal if that's not perfect as long as it's holding it the right diameter the three inch diameter right otherwise it would throw the yeah that's true so we were able to put this exactly back where it was um, to get this wire off Eric ended up taking this screw off right here or this uh, nut and then this could back off we slipped this wire off uh, the back nut we left there so that we knew where to back into so we've got two different 
sandwich plates is what I'm calling them that engage with each other. Okay, we've got one right back here. That one right there will open apart and you have to make sure that they engage back together in the right spot, otherwise you're gonna have some issues. Which we ran into that. Um, over here is another one. Those two will sandwich together. And uh, actually, these look like they're off slightly from each other. What's that? The ones back here, see how? Well, they, it falls into place when it spins again. It will fall back into place? Mm-hmm. And then these sandwich together here. So right now, my understanding is this is half speed. I don't know, I thought that this spacing was supposed to be the slower speed, but maybe not. This just doesn't make sense though. Like, I don't all right. know, I would think you would want it all the way shut, honestly. All right, go flip the switch and we'll see what it does over here. Full disclaimer, farming is a hazardous occupation. Sometimes you have to have your PTO running and not in the tractor while you're working on stock. Just throwing that out there. You can't always turn stuff by hand. All right, so we can see everything running. Oh yeah, the floor is moving too. I'll show you the floor. supposed to do with this I don't know if you're supposed to have it attached to something as you're loading it probably the best idea but we only have one tractor so that's not an option so one option is to uh, put these car jack stands underneath the tongue here just to kind of help stabilize it and I've got it's still over there yeah I'm gonna block underneath that that one keep it from rolling forward yeah let's give this a shot all right, so Eric's gonna run the loader today. Um, he's still home from work, so he figured he might as well get in there. He's really good with the bucket anyhow, so I mean, I could bucket up some crap, but he'll get it done a lot faster. So besides, I can keep track on the tabs on the trailer and make sure it's not doing anything crazy. Take a couple loads. All right, put your comments down below. How many loads do you think it's gonna take? Eric guessed three to four. I'm guessing a lot more than that. Thank you. 
Okay, also, how many loads do you think this is going to hold? I thought that that pile over there was going to like barely fill this thing, but apparently I might be wrong on that. And those of you who took the poll on my book that I'm trying to get published, two books actually, um, if you have not already taken that poll, check on over to my channel page under post or community, something like that. There's a poll there. Go ahead and go take the poll. So my writing conference is this weekend and I get to pitch three agents this Saturday. So I'm going to pitch my picture book and I'm going to pitch my memoir. So we're going to see... Whew what's gonna happen. So you guys get to see in the loop. So Saturday is the day, then I'll post another update in a video next week to let you know how the pitch went. Maybe it went great, maybe it went not so great. Who knows? So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's not your typical like sob story of a memoir. It's more, well, it's kind of a lot like the channel where you have a lot of like awful mistakes, a lot of comedy, a lot of laughing at yourself and a lot of trying to look on the bright side even when there is no bright side so um look forward to that next week and update on that and if you want to vote to figure out which book if any is gonna get picked by an agent go over to my community page and take that poll that's a big one That gate would be nice to have, huh? Yeah. Yep. Or like you said too, maybe we could just get a chunk of plywood cut in the meantime. Of course, I don't think, I don't think you can buy plywood right now. If you guys can I don't know if we can buy basic stuff here in Michigan I've heard people going into say Lowe's Home Depot trying to buy different things and they're basically turned away at the register saying no you can't buy that right now so don't know the college would probably like to follow you down to the field of oh yeah little dessert nuggets This is going to be our trial run. Do you want me to hook up the tractor? Yeah. Okay.
loads of manure in it right now. Ugh, I gotta adjust this seat because it's like really high. Can't really touch the floor very good yet. There, it's a little bit better. I'm gonna have to permanently adjust this for hay season. bother going around it but because that tire is soft I don't want to stress it too much so we're just gonna I'm just gonna skirt it all right so I am literally shaking right now I know it's so dumb but I've only got just a little bit it's like I gotta make it count are you gonna get the back end you know throw it wait what well, you said the back end, so I was trying to get the back end. Are you guys complaining? Okay, so, um, yeah, just try not to get the camera too close. Although it'd be funny if I hit you in the face, because then it's all going to fall into your helmet, and you're going to... Do it if one hit the screen. It'd be like that racing crazy. game on TV, you know, where the mud uh, hits the screen. No, I don't know that. Okay. Oops. Yeah. I didn't have you in focus. I was kind of down like that. Oh, yeah. What do you do at 540 RPM? I'm going to have it pretty low. What gear is the tractor going to be in? I think I'm going to go in B4. That's pretty fast. My, well, it's, it's 5.7 miles an hour, 5.8, something like that. At 540 RPM? Oh, I don't know what RPM it is because it's an adjustable RPM, so I don't, I wasn't really Well, the faster it. your RPM, the faster the tractor is going right. to go. Right, I'm going to keep it slow because I don't want that RPM to go too fast and kick Watch it. Well, the I can. the faster you go, the more of those beaters are gonna oh, spin. That's true. So I'll fling I'll it. Have, I'll yeah, fling it better. The first load's gonna be a trial and error for sure.
<laughs> a little bit. A little in the mouth. Good thing I had this end though. Actually, I can see some stuff in your screen. Is there? <laughs> what RPM were you doing? Uh, I did push it up to 540. Okay. Because it seemed like, because, uh, because it has the slower speed on the push gate, on the apron, I guess it's called push apron so it seemed to do just fine and it was going very slow which is what I wanted so I wanted to go nice and slow I was surprised honestly how much it was flinging still well I think um, with this type of manure that catch pan would help a lot because a lot of it is not getting the beaters you know oh, it's just yeah. kind of like Great. sifting out the back but I think it'll be okay because we've we haven't had any decent hard rains out here yet, so if we got some good rains, it would pound it into the ground and finish breaking it up. So, yeah, let's go get another load. Um, we're definitely not, definitely gonna need several loads in order to uh, get this field covered, but um, yeah. At least if we can get half the field, you can kind of see the difference. Right, right. And I know kind of with areas of the field struggle anyway, like this, I started with this far end because it tends to be a lot thinner the soil tends to be a little bit what if we did poop on one half and uh, chemical, on the other? chemical on the other half yeah that's an option as much as I don't want to have to pay for chemical fertilizer but it'd be an interesting experiment for sure um, I also want to take soil samples too which I still have to do um, yeah so I'm like, no, I just need like a lot more poop. All right, time for round two. So here we go. this is really nice I like how that's covering but we need a lot and I'm also gonna have to have a compost down I mean this is great this is this is really nice stuff to put down on top of a hay field there's not a lot of clumps it's pretty well broken up I mean here's a clump right here but I mean you can see that I'll just break right down Love you guys. Bye.